Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the OUI of a device or manufacturer and the MAC address, right? So you've heard us, you know, when we're in switches, we talk about MAC addresses, we talk about OUIs. So I've got my notes here. As always, we're, we're building up, get in the switch and get everything going. So some of these things you need to know. So the OUI is the Organizationally Unique Identifier, OUI. It's 24 bits, and uh, it's basically the first half of the MAC address. I'm going to pull this screen up while we talk. And it ident identifies the manufacturer of the device on the network. So in the MAC address, or the burned-in address, which is your hardware address, is also a unique identifier for use uh, in network communications. You're, right? You're going to see this when we start getting into ARP tables and MAC address tables and things like that. And it is 48 bits, and the OUI is the first 24 bits. Uh, the IEEE is the one, and you can uh, Google IEEE, I-E-E-E-E. -E -E. Uh, that is the organization um, that issues the OUI to manufacturers. So they issue that, and then the manufacturers complete the MAC address. By looking at the MAC address, we can tell who the manufacturer of the device is. This is very useful in troubleshooting and configuration, especially when we start like getting into auto voice or uh, MAC address VLANs and things like that. Um, they're supposed to be unique and permanent, but there are, are maybe some cases uh, where they can be reused and you could accidentally, you know, end up doubled up, right? So virtual machines, the MAC address of a virtual machine is configurable. So you could accidentally end up with the same MAC address. If you do end up with the same MAC address, then you're going to have network communication issues because that could confuse switch. Also, another problem when it comes to MAC addresses is smartphone manufacturers have randomized MAC addresses. So the MAC address on a phone can roll. So it can be hard to track, you know, that MAC address back to that device. So that, that can become an issue. However, for most of the cases, you should not have MAC addresses changing. Um, but your mileage may vary. So let's take a look at these two OUIs and MAC addresses that I have on the screen. So when you take a look at the 48-bit MAC address, so this whole thing would be the MAC address, that first 24 bits has been issued to Grandstream. And if you've dealt with Grandstream phones and APs, you're probably used to this. You probably have this memorized. I put another manufacturer up here is Cisco. So this is one of Cisco's OUIs. And you can see that this is what has been assigned to these manufacturers by the IEEE, and then the manufacturer fills in the rest. So you're going to see this when we get into LLDP, LLDP Med, uh, Voice VLAN, and things like that, and Auto VoIP, and, and this will become even more important. And is also important when troubleshooting. If you've ever looked at a MAC address table, um, or an ARP table, and you're looking for a specific device, it really helps to have that MAC address because then you can narrow down VLAN port and all of those good things for troubleshooting. So this is one of those things. You should know it, tuck it away. It will come in handy as you start troubleshooting networks. If you've got any questions about this, I'll try to answer them. This one is kind of straightforward, and I'm sure somebody's going to go down the rabbit hole and we might find you know something else out but ask your questions down in the comments and make sure if you like this video that you give it a thumbs up please subscribe follow me on twitter and tiktok those links are down below if you'd like to support the channel you can do that by using our clearly marked affiliate links below or joining our patreon by becoming a patron or if you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com, click hire us or contact us, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.